Endocrine system, peripheral organs. In this lecture, I describe your thyroid gland, parathyroid glands, suprarenal or adrenal glands, and diffused part of endocrine system. Thyroid gland located before the trachea. This organ consists of two lobes connected with isthmus. This is parenchymal organ consists of stroma and parenchyma. Strom represented by capsule surrounding the organ and connective tissue septa divided organ for lobules. Parenchyme represented by epithelial tissue endocrine cells organized into follicles. Follicle are structural and functional units of parenchyma. It's vesicle, leaning by simple, normally cuboidal epithelium on the basal membrane, which consists of two types of cells. The main type, follicular cells, and there are also parafollicular cells. Inside every follicle, there is a colloid, which consists of tyroglobulin. Colloid is gelatinose-like substance in consistence. This is microphotogram of tyroid gland section. As you will see in your histological preparations, capsule, connective tissue layers, and follicles. At high magnification, in connective tissue septa you see blood vessels, in this case artery and vein. There are follicles and colloid inside every follicle. And there are visible also resorptious vocals, small vesicles at the periphery of colloid, where it contact these follicular cells, which dissolve, digest colloid on the second stage of secretory cycle. Between follicles there are interfollicular islands containing parafollicular cells. Gistophysiology of follicular cells, they produce two gamons, triotyronine T3 and tetraeotyronin T4 or tyroxine. These molecules contain three and four atoms of iodine. There are two phases of secretory cycle. First, synthesis, to mean production and accumulation of gomons inside follicle. This is a general view of follicle. And this is a couple of cells, schematic drawing at high magnification. Around follicle, there are blood vessels. And here you see two thyroid cells, follicular cells, laying on the basal membrane and blood capillary outside. And 
here is colloid. Initially, the precursors of gomon enter the thyroid cells, follicular cells, through the basal membrane. Amino acids from blood enter the cells and in rough endoplasmic reticulum synthesized tyroglobulin. Then it transported to Golgi where it accumulated and with vesicles by exocytosis it's leaf the cell and enter the lumen of the follicle. The same time ions of iodide enter the cells from the blood, go through cells and release into the lumen. Here they converted by enzyme peroxidase to atomic iodide and these connected with tyrosine residues of tyroglobulin molecules. And composed monoiotyrosine if one atom of iodide connected if two it will be diotyrosine if three the pieces of three iot tyronine and four tetraiotyronine on the second stage of secretory cycle the release of gomon to the blood take place. This process stimulated by tyreotropic gomon of hypothesis. Tyreotropic gomon initiates the resorption, destruction of colloid, lysosomic enzyme of follicular cells. This enzyme digests colloid for the small fragments of Three and tetraiot tyronines. And these fragments are gomons of tyroin glands. And they transport it in vesicles through the follicular cells in opposite direction go through the basal membrane and enter the blood. And there is a blood flow distributed in the body and act to the target cells, which contain specific receptors to tyroxine. So, the release of tyroxine into the blood Stimulated by gomon tyroid, stimulating gomon or tyrotropin, anterior lobe of hypothesis. But before it should appear, the tyrotrop releasing gomon of neurohypothesis, which stimulate the releasing of tyrotropin tropic gamon of anterior lobe hypothesis. So this is a normal follicle, the follicle of the thyroid gland in normal state. Follicle leaning by cuboidal epithelium, but if Tyrotropic gomon stimulate the tyroid gland too much, it increases the function of tyroid gland. In this case, follicles 
change of the structure. The follicular cells became columna in shape. They destroy, resorb the colloid very quickly and fragment on fragments of tyroglobulins, the gomons, release quickly into the blood. So the amount of colloid decrease significantly and you can see a lot of resorptive vocals. These follicles and this structure, tyroid gland, has in under buzzard of disease. When too much gomons tyroxine release into the blood. On the contrary, the opposite state, functional state of tyroid gland is a hypofunction under the disease myxedema. The second stage of secretory cycle inhibited. One of the reasons may be not enough tyrotropic gomon. So res resorption of colloid decrease its amount increased significantly. The colloid became very dense and it pushed the follicular cells and they became flat. Amount of gomon released into the blood became much lower. What is the functional state of this steroid gland? You see very large follicles this huge amount of colloid with flat cells. Certainly, this is gypofunction. In addition to follicular cells, there are parafollicular cells or calcitonocytes or C cells. They are located partly among follicular cells inside the epithelium linen in the follicle but they are smaller, triangle in shape and their apical portion never reach the lumen of the follicle so they don't release the secret inside follicle but release it directly into the blood. You can see C cells in immunogistochemical preparations with market antibody against gomon calcistonin which secreted by C cells. In addition, C cells may be located between follicles in interfollicular islets. Parafollicular cells or C cells produce calcitonin. Calcitonin decreases the calcium level in blood by three ways. First, by inhibition of osteoclasts, which normally destroy the bone and release the calcium into the blood. As a result, calcium accumulated in bone. The second, inhibition of reabsorption of calcium in renal tubules. As a result, it increases the release of calcium with the urine. And third, decrease the absorption of calcium in intestine. So, as a result, the level of calcium in blood decrease. Parathyroid glands, there are three or four of them 
They are located at the pastoral surface of thyroid glands. Their size about 5 mm. Every thyroid gland is parenchymal organ covered by capsule. There are con connective tissue septa which go in inside and parenchyma represented by epithelial endocrine cells which compose bundles. And there are certainly a lot of blood capillaries where we'll release the gamons. At the preparation sometimes parathyroid gland can be observed inside thyroid gland section. This is parathyroid gland at low magnification capsule connective tissue septa and parenchyme. You see a lot of adipose tissue under capsule and sometimes it's visible inside organ. At high magnification you also can see connective tissue septa and endocrine cells. Endocrine cells consist of two groups, chief cells, which may be light and dark and clear cells, light cells, and oxyphilic cells or oxyphils staining red by as in these cells suggested to be the aged chief cells and does not produce any gamons and chief cells produce parathyrin which increase the level of calcium in blood in three ways is acting in opposite direction as compared to this tyrocalcisonin of thyroid glands. Parathyrin, on the contrary to calcitonin, increases the calcium level in blood by three ways, through the same three target organs, but in opposite direction. First, by activation of osteoclasts. They intensively destroy the bone tissue and release the calcium to the blood. Second, activation of reabsorption of calcium in renal tubules and prevents the release of calcium with urine. Third, increase the absorption of calcium in intestine. As a result, the calcium level in blood increase. So if calcitonin decrease the calcium in blood, parathyrin increase. So there is the balance and it provides a constant calcium level in blood. But this uh, one is very important, crucially important for all cells, especially for nerve cells, for, for nerve impulse conductivity, for muscles, for contraction of muscle. Suprarenal adrenal gland located on the kidney has triangle in shape consists of two parts cortex at the periphery and medulla in the center they are functionally independent adrenal gland is parenchymal organ it consists of stroma parenchyma stroma represented by connective tissue capsule around 
and thin layers of loose connective tissue going inside parenchyme represented by endocrine cells adrenal gland cortex consists of three zones the periphery zona glomerulosa the endocrine cells here produce glomeruli the cells produce mineral corticoids aldosterone in particular which stimulates the reabsorption of sodium ion in renal tubules it increases the sodium level in blood this is zona glomerulosa second zone zona fasciculata here endocrine cells go on in parallel produce fasciculi like here mostly consist of two layers of endocrine cells they produce glucocorticoids which stimulate the level the destruction of complex compounds carbohydrates proteins and production of glucose and increase the level of glucose in blood the glucocorticoids anti-inflammatory hormones and they called stress hormones they release in stress situations and initiate in particular the accidental involution of thymus zona reticularis here and the bundles of endocrine cells go in in all three directions and compose like the reticulum then produce the small amount of uh, male and female sex hormones all hormones of adrenal cortex are steroid hormones they are lipid in nature they produce from cholesterol so if the lipid in nature you can uh, gistochemically find the droplets of lipids in the cytoplasm lipid inclusions they are steroid hormones which accumulated in cytoplasm before release into the blood lipids diluted in organic solvents like alcohols silens and lipids dissolved so these cells look looks as spongy these are highly differentiated cells they cannot divide in cannot reproduce themselves they highly differentiated specialized and they cannot leave too long finally they aged and died and should be the source of regenerations renovations of them and there are two cambial layers between zona glomerulosa and fascicularis there is a sudanophobic layer sudanophobic it mean they these cells this layer afraid the sudan sudan is a dye which stain lipids sudanophobic it mean they these cells cannot stain by sudan the dye sudan so the preparation stand by gemotoxylin and niacin this layer is darker because contain no lipids 
and consists of small stem and cambial cells which proliferate quickly and produce young cells which move on the basal membrane and replace the old aged endocrine cells of zona fasciculata and reticularis and they also specialize, differentiated, produce gomons and died and replaced by the new and new generation of young cells. This is source of regeneration for zona fasciculata and reticularis. For zona glomerulosa, there is another cambial layer under the capsule. And medulla consists of chromaffin cells. It means they stain by chromium salts because they contain a lot of biogenic amines, catecholamines like adrenaline and noradrenaline. The, there are light cells, synthesized adrenaline, and dark cells produce noradrenaline, and they release this gamon into the blood. It's typical steroid producing cells. So, as steroids are lipids, it should be a lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum where steroid gamons synthesize from cholesterol smooth endoplasmic reticulum and lipid droplets the accumulated gamons, steroid gamons and also mitochondria, unusual mitochondria with tubular crystal, which participate in steroid gamons production. Gland is visible in, in histological preparations. Its cortex, both side and medulla in the center, and in high magnification, use is a cortex and medulla capsule, zona glomerulosa, sudanophobic layer, zona fasciculata, reticularis. And this is gistochemical preparation is Sudan dye visualized lipids in zona glomerulosa, especially fasciculata and less in reticularis and no lipids in sudanophobic layer. Adrenaline and noradrenaline secretion by chromaffin cells of adrenal glands medulla. Under electron microscope in cytoplasm you can see the numerous granules contain adrenaline and noradrenaline. Regulation. Diffuse part of endocrine system. It's billions of individual separate endocrine cells scattered in various parts of the body. They called a put cell system from words amine procurs uptake and decarboxylation. So these cells uptake amino acids, decarboxylated them and produce biogenic amines. Like adrenaline, noradrenaline, hydroxytreptamine, serotonin, dopamine, gistamine and so on.
At the same time, these endocrine cells produce peptides. So there are many groups of these cells belong to diffuse part of endocrine system. The endocrine cells of the epithelium of the stomach and intestine. The cells of pancreatic islets, islets of larging guns, producing insulin, glucagons, and samamines. They produce hydroxytryptamine, glucagon, do this group included also glomus cells of the carotid bodies producing dopamine and noradrenaline. Merkel cells of skin epidermis. Some cells in the pineal gland and placenta as well as atypical secretory cardiomyocytes of the heart. These gomons release into interstitial fluid and connect locally uh, to the neighboring cells regulate their activity or can enter the blood and transported in all parts of the body and act into the target cells which contain specific receptors for example in a simple column epithelium of intestine or stomach in addition to exocrine cells which release its secret into the lumen of stomach or intestine. There are endocrine cells with basal granularity which release the secret into the interstitial fluid or blood. These are endocrine cells. There are up to 40 types of these cells and they indicated by Latin and figures for example EC cells enterochromaffin cells produce hydroxytryptamine serotonin or Enterochromaffin like cells ECL produce gistamine, G cells produce gastrin, D cells produce somatostatin, and so on. And you can recognize these cells immunogistochemically with market antibodies against specific gomons or by electron microscopy on the shape, size and density of secretory granules containing these gomons.